5-1 today against Westfield Reserves. Uh, pretty dominant performance. So what was your immediate thoughts after the game? Very, very happy. Um, very pleased with the result. Like um, we said to the players before the game that it was their last game of the season. And obviously they beat us earlier in the season. So I was saying that with it being their last game, you know, the chances are that their pressure's off. They weren't paying to win the title or anything like that. So, you know, they might relax into the game. And I said to the lads that it's very important we start the game high tempo, put pressure on them, uh, play the game in their half as much as possible not let them get comfortable into the game because then they may relax themselves as I said because there was no pressure on them today really um, and I felt we kind of done that we started a bit slow but as the game went on I felt you know we put a lot of pressure on them created a lot of chances uh, to be fair based on chances I think at half time you know we should have uh, we should have scored more definitely you know I think we had a number of chances that I think if we were more clinical we would have gone in like three, four, five goals up, to be honest, and that, I think that's a fair assessment. Um, you know, Westfield are a good side, good coach, uh, so he kept them pressing and kept the game uh, going, and even at 2-0, you know, I really wanted the third to go in, so, yeah, I think we, we started well, and I'm happy that second half, we kept that intensity, and then eventually, the chances we created, we got the goals we deserved, so, no, very happy with the win. I mean, there were a lot of stats, obviously, in a 5-1, and, and as you said, it could have been more. There were a lot of standout performances today, but from a personal point of view, I thought Leandro led the line. Obviously, got his two goals, yeah. but I thought Leandro led the line really well, held the ball up and controlled it and laid it off on a you know tricky pitch, as always, um, and obviously could have had more. And also, I thought uh, Joseph uh, Medimlo yeah. came in on the left-hand side and had a really good game and deserved his goal as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, my staff and that, we know Leandro is a very talented striker, and... We just try and push him to work harder, work harder his game, work harder off the ball. Because on the ball, as you see, he's excellent. He's got a great strike of the ball. And we really want him to do as well as he can. And we feel if he really puts himself about and works hard, he's unpayable. Do you know what I mean? And we felt today, again, he was unpayable. And in the second half, he upped his tempos and started closing down a bit. And he, and he got two goals and he could have probably had a hat-trick, to be honest. And Joseph, we, we gave him man of the match today because it was his first start. Um, he's coming off the bench a couple of times, not really set it alight, but we said to him, I know he's got ability, I've known the lad for a little while, and we said before the game, you know, today's your opportunity, you're going to start the game, light it up for us, and to be fair, he did, he was, he was outstanding, um, you know, not only what he'd done in terms of an attacking threat, but I felt that his work rate off the ball was like right up there, and that's what we demand of people, I mean, the amount of times he, he got back and he, he broke up things and he, he nicked the ball first and he was he was all over the place and he finally deserved man in the match and um, he got a goal did he, he got a goal didn't he, didn't he, he did <laughs> he won yeah, the second half goal yeah half time you deserve a goal and I'm I'm happy he got it because he deserves it so no great performance um, and a word as well obviously you, again you brought on a, a few subs towards towards the end to give uh, some players some minutes and I think uh, Max Max Errington yeah, set Max, up set up a couple of goals Max, down the right hand side yeah you know Max is a, a great player for us in terms of he's got a brilliant attitude. Um, you know, he wants the team to win, um, you know, he works hard and he's a pair, you need pairs of that in your squad and, uh, you know, last week he came on at right back and he done a job for us to see out the game and today he's coming on the right and, and when the game opened up, he done the right things, you know, sometimes when the game opens up, pairs try and get on it and dribble too much and maybe take shots in wrong areas, he just got out wide, got a foot on the ball and whipped it in and two great assists and maybe could have had a third assist as well. So very happy for Max. And Dan, who started the season with us, and then he picked up an injury and he was out for a little while. Uh, and then we kind of loaned him out, got him playing regular games. And he's a one for the future for us. He's, a, he's only at under 17. Um, you know, he come in and got some minutes and steadied it up and done the right things. That's what we ask for, lads. Even if the result's going well, what we want players to do is to keep doing the right things. You know, be professional. And I thought that's what we've done as we saw the game out and the subs added to that. So happy that everyone got on and contributed to the win. And Obviously. Hisham as well, come on. Um, got a good goal, clever yeah, little flick. Goal. Yeah, brilliant goal. Um, you know, he was busy when he got on, had a couple of shots. And everyone's got to play their part, whether you start or whether you come off the bench. And that's what we're trying to create with the players. And also, they're not going to be with Howard's 23s for their career. So we try and implement things and get them to learn. It's all a squad game. You can all play a part in it. And whether you're disappointed on the bench or not, You've got to be positive, you've got to come on and make an impact and hopefully that helps them with their careers going forward. Uh, looking at the bigger picture, obviously today's, you know, we won 
uh, 5-1. I think we're, we're hearing that Aylesbury lost today 4-1 uh, against Chalfont. We're not sure about Uxbridge yet. Yeah. So as, uh, as far as we know, obviously we're level on points with Aylesbury with a, with a better goal difference. And as I said, we're waiting on Uxbridge. Yeah. So it's you know a point in it at the top between three teams with two games to go. Yeah, it's tight, tight up there. And uh, you know, I'm happy with where we are. A few weeks ago, we weren't sure whether we'd get a chance to get back in. And uh, we're not taking anything for granted. Um, that's why we want to go hard this week and we want to do the same next week with Pan Cove. Whether they're bottom of the table or not, you can't take anyone for granted. We want to go next week with the same mentality this week and try and do well. Um, you know, the teams are all up there deserved fighting for the title. And what we want to create, as much as this is all about development, at the same time, it is about winning. And especially when you get to this age, you want to create a winning mentality between the boys and we want them to want to go and win it. There's no shame in saying that. I think sometimes we can say, oh, you know, it's all about development and it's all about, you know, we want to win. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, 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 not hiding from that. And I want the boys to have that mentality as well, uh, especially now you're getting to these ages, 18, 19, 20. So we want to go in to win it. We want to win next week. We want to win away against Ellsbury. Um, you know, if we don't, then at least we're giving it everything, but we're in a good position. So hopefully we carry that forward and, and, and we can go for the win and finish it off. Yeah, I mean, how important do you think that could, uh, you know, today's results, you said, in terms of goal difference, obviously it's been a big swing today. I said, we don't know about Oxbridge, but yeah. in terms of ourselves and, and Aylesbury today, it's been a big swing in goal difference and, le and level on points. Yeah, I mean, we, I think we had six or so goals difference before when I last looked uh, during the week. And today we wanted to add to that if we could. Do you know what I mean? With no disrespect to... To Westfield, we know that they hadn't been in the best form recently, and we wanted to make sure today we could try and win it and get the goals in. And I think we've done that. Uh, you know, with Uxbridge, they were level goal difference, even though we had a game on hand. So you know, we needed to try and make that count in terms of goal difference because it might come down to that last game of the season. So very happy with the goal tally. Uh, a bit disappointed with the goal. To be fair, that we conceded, I felt it was a bit soft. Um, but no, happy with that and. Um, you know, we need to try and win first next week, but if we can win and get goals in, then that's what we want to do next week again. Yep, cheers, Godry. Th uh, thanks very much for your time. Good luck again next week against Cove. Thank Three you. more points, hopefully. Thank you. Really appreciate